of the 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 way of the the emotion and something like that and that is what we try to transfer on this live stream so we are we are like the sport we like uh, the the way i'm here just to to have closer contact to see the teams uh, in the preparation for next european championship i can watch this from home i don't have to spend yes the whole weekend. 700 uh, euros to come here to exactly. berlin exactly 500 kilometers away from from home so uh, and spend my free time uh, for this no? uh, yeah same same with us uh, we we do it uh, for nothing we spend the last two weeks preparing the champions cup yeah. uh, listening to people complain about what we do and how we do it but still we do it for free and uh, um, that that's that's why you do it you love it for the people you do it for the people and uh, I, I, missed, I personally mistrust uh, the capital uh, um, um, uh, rearranging itself around sports. I'm, I'm very happy to be here and to see that, that uh, uh, this event because uh, I was involved in the first Champions Cup or Master Cup an event and I look back and see the trophy. No, that is uh, one of this. I, I'm one of the few Germans who won the trophy twice. And uh, I established this idea of this, and uh, of course, y if someone take it over and something like that, uh, you you like it or you dislike it, but uh, it's a part of the history. Nothing is so so certainly like the changes. And uh, I, what I like or I don't like is don't complain. Exactly. Accept it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or do, 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 do it better. Or do better. Or do better. Or, or do give a different give. way. Or do but the guy sitting somewhere, I complain. It's this or whatever. How you can say this and something like that. Of course, it's it's a sport and and it's emotion. There are fans and something like that. That's fine. That's just the way of sports anyway. Yeah? But uh, don't. Uh, nah? And when we see you now the social media. Whatever we say here, everyone can comment, and all over the uh, uh, world, people yeah. can read. We become the, the good guys or the bad guys, yeah, just like that. It's, uh, uh, some some people love uh, Trump, some hate hate him, or yeah. something like that. And, so, and some cry True. at home. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, so let's go into this game uh, that just started now. It's New Walk on the Water Rugby, uh, the USA against female Firenze, team yeah. against Firenze in, in, in blue, and Firenze from Italy, the female players in white. And um, this is an interesting game now. I think uh, both teams uh, are almost on the same level with a little bit more experience for uh, uh, Firenze. But uh, the yeah, I also would say they are quite close on the level of rugby they play. Um, oh, they he right here the goalkeeper just kicked his own uh, attacker. I, uh, I would, yeah, I would say Firenze, you know, has a little bit more experience, so it could be that it could go if they play it well, it could go in their favor. Um, because New York is, is, is newer and they have a uh, loss for higher uh, scores against Germany, for instance. Uh, Langen uh, was 7 0 for Langen against um, Italy and 12 0 against New York. Still, uh, there's a big proof along the day that that doesn't really define the game, but just keep that an idea. Um, so we have the tag now on the open side of the basket. Go, go, go. And this it was Fefe. Uh, for New World. Uh, See, she's a really experienced uh, player in the Firenze team and she went over the open side on the goalkeeper pushing up with her head and the shoulder and scored so it's uh, no you were just a score oh, no, no, Firenze. No, Firenze. Yeah, Firenze. Firenze is white, is white. <laughs> I need sugar my brain is melting swimming suits is France yes, Italy yes 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 <laughs> and uh, normally Italy plays in blue but it's soccer <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. No, okay. based, based, based on uh, experience, uh, Firenze should uh, control the game. Yes. And uh, they they know each other, and they are basically uh, good, experienced team. So, with this experience, uh, this will be the advantage compared to Newark. Ah, here is mm. Fifi again. I think now she's in beast mode. She wants to score again. Beast mode. <laughs> yeah, she's really beast. like uh, going Don't through the through the uh, pool, and uh, uh, she's really up for it. Uh, she wants to score again. I, sh I think she now uh, 
uh, that's the feeding frenzy, the shark feeding I, frenzy. I, I, I don't like if you say to a girl you're in beast mode. I know. So please be polite. I know. Otherwise you lose fans. Do I have fans? No, but maybe you lose one. <laughs> The one that it could potentially the one, the, one, <laughs> the one that I have. Okay, another attack from Frenente. Now uh, from the top of the basket back to the op uh, close side. But that's that's a good style. But it was a uh, penalty. Oh, right? penalty. Mm. Could be penalty. I think that is uh, Birgit Lütke, Birgit Lütke uh, who showed the penalty. Uh, probably holding or shoulder in the basket. Oops. Um, She's very strict. Yeah, she is. And she's uh, the head referee of the Champions Cup right now. Um, and uh, Manuel Tito de Moraes is the uh, uh, chief referee. But uh, for the Champions Cup, uh, uh, um, Birgit is uh, making the calls. And uh, this was a, a penalty. Uh, call from the referees. We didn't see why, but probably shoulder or holding in the basket. Holding the basket. Holding. Um, and we have now a penalty for Firenze against uh, uh, Underwater Rugby USA. And I don't see who is uh, executing the could be Valentina uh, from Firenze. She's a really experienced player. Oh, that was a easy game for her. She just uh, wrapped around the, the goalkeeper, turned around and had an empty basket. Uh, the uh, US uh, goalkeeper didn't even struggle that much, uh, but it's not that easy to get uh, free on the on the grip around your uh, waist. Thanks to Kiat Han in the um, live stream uh, chat. Uh, yes, we are sacrificing a lot, but uh, we love underwater rugby uh, very much. And uh, me, Lorena, and I think I can talk for uh, Jörg too. Uh, underwater rugby is a big part of our life, and uh, we love it that way. Okay, so um, here we have uh, uh, Newark now trying to break through, but uh, they don't succeed. They are stopped uh, almost in the middle of the pool by the forechecking of Firenze. And I think what we expected, it shows Firenze has some more experience here. It's Fefe again, coming from the close side, moving in. Here we go. Another Excellent. goal. Very, very nice yeah. attack to the neck of the goalkeeper. And she kept pushing and, and moving yeah. there. Yeah, pushing and keep her up and uh, scored finally. So, excellent goal. I mean, it's so important say. that when you attack the head of the goalie, you, you know, get the neck, not the head, and you move because you can be hurt so bad, I mean, on, on the head, if you can really, you know, and, and just hammer against the the head of the of the It's, it's already goalie. three. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we can talk about injuries uh, uh, later on and how to prevent them. Um, so it's already 3-0? I thought it's 2-0. Ah, yeah, we have the, f uh, the, the penalty. Yes. Yes. Ha. Um, so now it's getting difficult. We have four minutes in this first half, and it's getting difficult for uh, the U.S. Uh, to turn the game around. It's not impossible, but uh, the way the, the game develops, uh, Firenze is quite in good control. If they don't break because of... Uh, uh, physical fitness, uh, they should be able to win this game and dominate it further on. That was called from the referee, and that's a free throw against uh, the U.S. So, three and a half minutes to go, 3-0 for Firenze. And they are in 70-80% uh, control of the ball and acting, actually. They are deciding the pace of the game, and, and Newark is just reacting and trying to cope with the um, game of the Italian girls. Um, there's a question. Uh, the result, uh, Ege, uh, Zurich was 4-0 for Ege. And another attack from the Firenze, uh, which was tackled away, and ball is again free on the closed side. Uh, Jan Maasenbacher said, I think it's a good sponsor could help the CC to pay them for a few euros. True, but uh, sponsors want to have a saying in the organization and everything. And um, that's what we try to keep uh, open for the community and uh, not uh, made uh, the decision made by sponsors. But definitely something we can talk about. So again, Feve on uh, uh, the uh, open side. She's uh, going in and she, I think she wants to score again. Ah, here we go. Oh, no, close. Close, slow. Yeah. Too slow. And, uh, I don't think 
first execute and then be happy. And she had, uh, um, she was going down, one of the French players was going down with a goalkeeper to the empty basket. And uh, I think sometimes if you, what you forget in this attack, you have a second arm. One is holding the ball, the other can push away the uh, attacker or the defender. And in this case, Don't think. Yeah, you should have muscle memory you, to do if this. You, if you so start if you thinking, it's too late. It's a second too late. Yes. I, I did the thinking for her. So if I would be her, I would have used Don't my... Don't do that. I can not stop to do that. The interesting situation, there was a Firenze player just above the goalkeeper from the US, hesitating back and forth with the ball behind her uh, head, but she didn't succeed on putting the ball in the, in the goal. Now we have Fed again from the open side going in on the goalkeeper. She's just pushing forward and another goal. Very one. Fefe really nice, nice playing uh, third goal for her in this match against uh, Newark on the water rugby. Ma, to be honest, if I put my personal opinion, it's a little bit too physical for my taste in a women game. There's too much on the body, too much on fight, too much to, uh, one against one. I would like to, to see a bit more swimming, and a more, more moving around, playing. more tactical. Um, but just as, as a constructive critic. I learned, yeah, uh, me, I learned a lot uh, training with the uh, with the German, uh, with the with the Berlin women's team, because it's not about uh, uh, using your uh, physical force, but using your head. So um, back in the game, uh, yeah, actually, 40 seconds I guess left. the girls play, play smarter this rugby, and so they Absolutely. can. Absolutely adjust uh, much quicker to different systems absolutely and uh, that's a that's a thing what i like on the, on the woman team so they are they're eager to learn something they are eager to try something out uh, men there i know how it works yeah so if you have a men team basically you have it immediately uh, 12 coaches as well yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's true. True. and uh, women it's uh, they are open-minded they try it out and can be difficult too can be difficult too if no. you but, but not in that matter because i mean i train men i train women and yeah that's uh, yeah okay how you do it but i do better but i have my opinion i'm like Okay, the uh, game New York against uh, uh, Firenze is over now. It's 4-0 for, uh, for Firenze. And the uh, mm. next game coming up. You want to again spend at, uh, some topic in the break? Uh, uh, yes, uh, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm still interested. Well, we, we, we cannot answer everything, but uh, 3D coaching. Okay, you, you said these two, two important things, A, video review, and B, stopping the game at the point where you do it. Yes. But how, w w when you have a meeting, in theory, when you do a theory uh, talking, how could you explain what you want? Can you do this? How, how do you... Uh, basic, you can, very simple in 3D, you do uh, two sides uh, drawing, from the top and from the side. Okay. So that gives us uh, somehow in a three-dimensional uh, uh, idea and uh, what 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 I'm doing some condition training doing a lot of tactics training and what we are uh, what what should be done basic in the training is 30% should be only uh, the training session repeat a certain thing very very long time that means take one hour to uh, establish one attack on always doing this again, again, So that you can again. do it in your sleep practically. Yeah, so that you really can practice. Because once you tried something, someone had explained, it never worked. You have to have this, this and you have to always explain again, show it, and, and, and that is the most important. And that is, I think, it's too less in the rugby training. There's a swimming training, there's some tactic training, something like that. But there's so so basic spell control. You can do it for hours. Yeah, true. Then for hours, there's a lot of things. So it's uh, it's somehow boring and whatever. But it's better they can control the ball. It's better it affects the game later. Um, one more thing, um, we have uh, uh, um, conditioning, we have uh, ball control, uh, for sure tactics and playing, but what about uh, mental training? Uh, we, we don't hear, it's probably the same as 
uh, conditioning with the ball, playing with the ball. We are a three-dimensional ball game, uh, but mental, you, you mention it a lot. It's a mental game. How do you train that? I try and to do this with my U15 team. We sit together and just imagine the game. And everybody is talking about his position, talking about what, his, uh, uh, what he has to do, right, uh, how agree. he succeeds, and you give them uh, uh, challenges. So in, think in, about in you do a counterattack. How d what do you do? Exactly, the, 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 the mental strength to in, in imagine uh, how you attack uh, um, uh, a goal. You, you lay it uh, at home in the bed and you think, you think about your movement and something like that. It's very important. Very simple things. Show, show I want to have the ball into my hands. No one is doing that. Or I, I want to show that I want to play this ball in this direction. It's not done in the in the in the in the, the body language is still very limited. When you look for the, this middle white lady, she don't have the hands there w anywhere the usable. Uh, yeah. yeah. So show your hands. Here I want to yeah. have the ball yeah. or something like that. Yeah. That's every every um handball player or something. Yeah, he true. shows where the ball should be. Sounds true. Like that, no? Okay, let's go back in the game here. Um, uh, sorry, I was wrong. It was not at the end of the game, but at uh, the end of the first half. It's 4-0 for Firenze. And Firenze is already attacking again uh, uh, now on the left side uh, of the pool where uh, the U.S. Um, is trying to fend off. Um, I, I will not say uh, um, the U.S. is... Uh, um, not doing uh, well here. They are quite good defending, but uh, you see the difference in the experience of these two two teams. And uh, in this case, uh, Firenze is the more experienced team, and they use their experience. We have a three throw uh, against uh, the U.S., and the uh, basket was already stolen by. Uh, uh, Firenze player that was too far away. Uh, she got the ball, but uh, she didn't succeed because um, uh, the ball was too far away. She had to stretch out her arms and was blocked by uh, one of the other players. Um, Well, we have discussion here on a live uh, feed about the cameras. Uh, you could talk with uh, Vinny about it. He got all the technical knowledge about it. And uh, uh, sport HD sport cameras, good luck with that. Uh, I think uh, Vinny would be uh, happy to talk about that. He has a lot of experience of uh, building his own cameras. And uh, these uh, cameras we have in the water here are custom made. Uh, um, and uh, they are in the next generation here, but uh, sadly the internet connection was is not up to it here. But uh, nevertheless, we have uh, great pictures here, and um, I don't think you can do that with uh, sports cameras, but we were looking forward to see them uh, on the European Championship. So, back in the game here, um, Firenze is going for the basket one-on-one -on -one now, and that's uh, a score very well done. I think we're already 6-0. Uh, the score only shows 5-0, but I think uh, Feve scored in between. Um, Lorena is uh, going on to hunting for food. Uh, I think she will uh, shoot some spaghetti. And uh, we have still uh, six minutes uh, and a half uh, left in this game. New work against uh, Firenze. I think it's 6-0 uh, as far as I remember, but could be 5-0. Uh, There's a question from New Walk on the Water Rugby. How long the Champions Cup has been streamed uh, online? I give this uh, question to Vinne. Hold on a second. Vinne? Wie lange sendest du schon Livestream uh, den Champions Cup? Plus minus? Ja. So I relate them, uh, this question to, to Binne and I will answer it in a second. Um, there's a call from the referee. The referees are up on the surface. 
Uh, I don't see what the decision is. Timeout, timeout, uh, probably for you, Mark. Um, um, still a question, uh, how long is uh, Vinny doing uh, the live stream? Uh, uh, all right, uh, so this goes to the question, the new work on the water recreation, how long has the CC been televised? Uh, since 2000. So for 16 years now, Vinny is doing the live stream for the Champions Cup. I think uh, he's one of the veterans and um, He's one uh, with the most experience how to uh, transmit and build these cameras. Um, Christian Schaefer, we should trump, uh, dump whom? Dumpen, goalies, Singapore player, whom you want to dump? Don't only dump, say what and whom. Okay, we have a timeout still, five seconds uh, going in this game. Okay, Sultan, uh, we are looking forward to see all uh, your inventions implemented um, in the European Championship. We will all have uh, apps to uh, cut our own footage and put them as uh, GIFs, moving GIFs uh, online. I will be happy to, uh, uh, to see all that. Ah, okay, dump the information about the EC. The invitation. I don't get it, but uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm on pure on the water work. We know I <laughs> 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 I cannot follow anything else. So uh, we have an opinion. We are we are not politics, and we are not in the federation. We are no exactly. In, we, we are in the Champions Cup and try to give say something smart. What we see still, um, we we have uh, our own thoughts about uh, the development. And and don't forget, there's a switch on every computer to stop the sound. Exactly. Thank you, uh, Jörg. That's totally true. If you don't like what we're doing, uh, switch off, do your own stuff and uh, give a better example. Um, complaining, and I don't talk about the live stream right now or the chat, so nobody's complaining there, but just what I say. Um, uh, yeah, Jan Meisenbacher, I already uh, offered you, uh, we could uh, uh, talk about the Three Nations League. Uh, uh, I think uh, you remember I wrote you on Facebook. Let's, uh, okay. Sorry, I don't have to concentrate that much. I want to be in the game back again. Otherwise, it's uh, not fair to the game's playing, to the team's playing. Um, well, Firenze is leading 6-0 uh, here in Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Uh, it's the 28th uh, Champions Cup uh, in this world. And uh, we have now another attack from Firenze, and they are t totally control the, uh, the game now. And uh, they just wait for the opportunity to score, if which is coming up now. Yeah, and good push from the left side. With no with defense. The shoulder, with the shoulder, no defender there, only the goalkeeper. A good push and uh, scored. So it's, uh, it's a nice, nice, was a nice goal. Now I think it's uh, three minutes to go, 7-0, it's a clear s uh, situation. I think Forenza could do their life a little bit easier if they spend some more time underwater. Then they have not uh, to be so aggressive uh, to push on the, on the goal. I think there's a chance uh, to wait for the empty spot and there are a lot of empty spots. Um, so again, uh, the, the, the attack uh, from uh, Firenze, again the, the, the left side attack, uh, don't go up with the ball, that is, uh, there's, there's no space, there's always some enemy or some, some counter person there, try to keep the ball there from the left side, become a cluster and then it goes on the surface. Uh, ball falls down, but uh, New York uh, recovers the ball, try to uh, use a counter attack, but uh, the movement was to the surface. On the surface, they did not get the ball in front. So it's only one minute. Uh, we got food. Two, 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 two minutes. Uh, Firenze has the ball, and uh, only goalkeeper attack from the right side. 
So it's uh, 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 keeping the ball too long. If you attack from this side, it's better to play the ball down to, and then the, the, the goalkeeper did not see where the ball is and they, they, they cannot react. So it's uh, always important to get the ball out of the face of the goalkeeper. Uh, so one and one uh, Firenze attack, but uh, uh, from the bottom there's no defenders, just the exchange of the goalkeepers on the on the uh, Newark t uh, goal. So missing the defender makes, of course, the uh, the goal wide open on the bottom. Uh, so and gives uh, Firenze the, the ball. And uh, the problem is when when Newark has has the ball. They always uh, they try to escape on the surface, and that uh, of course has no effect at all. So that stopped the game exactly on 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 this uh, position. So it's only 40 seconds left, and uh, I'm I'm quite astonished a little bit uh, that uh, the U.S. team didn't manage to break free of the attack uh, of uh, Firenze more often or uh, at all. You see it right now, right here. Uh, they still defend quite uh, good uh, their basket they are there they they uh, don't give up but they don't manage to break free or even enter the uh, uh, the, the, the 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 other side of uh, of the pool where Firenze has their basket so uh, uh, this game is decided two seconds left and uh, that's it first uh, win for Firenze uh, in this Champions Cup uh, 2016 here in Berlin, 7-0 uh, for Firenze.